we'll call this the beginning of the final chapter in the John Tory trilogy. And in this case, the storyline will be picking up right where we left off. The mayor promising to get to work on urgent issues right away, but he'll need to do so with some newly elected councillors after securing a third term on Monday night. We've come so far over the past eight years, but we have unfinished business. John Tory now has four more years to tackle everything from the housing crisis to the everyday services that have fallen to the wayside in recent years. The first things are to get on with the housing changes that I asked for a mandate on and received one uh, to speed up uh, the uh, approval of housing, more affordable housing, more supportive housing. And then secondly, I'm going to have some things to say this week about some of the nuts and bolts issues that I heard about uh, through the media, but also I heard about it when I was at the door. All while nine new city councillors get set to take on the role in a large shakeup at City Hall. Exhausted, exhilarated, so ready to get to work. <laughs> Amber Morley defeated longtime councillor Mark Grimes in Etobicoke Lakeshore, who had Tory's support. Now comes the question about whether everyone can work together. I think I'm a pretty uh, cordial and collaborative person. I think the mayor, right, he's been given a clear mandate and Etobicoke Lakeshore residents have given him a clear message about the kind of leadership that they want coming from our community. Um, and so I hope he's as ready to work with me as I am to work with him. It's very hard to find consensus if you've painted yourself into a particular partisan corner. Uh, I've been nonpartisan most of my life. As you saw, I got endorsements from all across the political spectrum and all walks of life. And I think that's going to help a lot in learning where the common ground is. Each with their own agendas representing their wards, but the common ground of doing what's best for the city. I really want to sit down with my fellow council colleagues along with the mayor to talk about strategies to address the homelessness and the underhouse issue. And you know, we need to have some short-term and long-term uh, um, uh, solutions to that. <laughs> In a city like ours, we can have everything that we need to thrive. That includes affordable housing, that includes good jobs, and that includes making sure that we're investing in the community infrastructure that comes alongside growth in the communities like we have here in Spadina Fort York. How easy or difficult is it to bring consensus to that floor? And I am not kidding myself. I know um, that we, we're going to have a lot of a lot of tough negotiations, but coming through it, actually making lives better for Torontonians is the, my top priority. I will look forward to working with those people because my style is very much to say anybody who wants to work with me, I'm happy to work with them. We know that the calls and meetings with the mayor and some of the new councillors began even before the election. They will be sworn in on November 15th. The first official meeting on the new council will be on November 23rd, giving them one month to start coming together, if at all possible.